It is not the strongest of the species that survives, nor the most intelligent, but the one most responsive to change. What is a genetic algorithm? A genetic algorithm is a computational method inspired by the process of natural selection and genetic inheritance. It is a search and optimization technique used to find an approximate solution to a complex problem that may not have a straightforward analytical answer. Imagine you have a big puzzle to solve, but you don't know the exact solution. You have some clues, but it's like finding a needle in a haystack. A genetic algorithm is like having a special tool to help you solve that puzzle. It is a way to find the best possible answer by mimicking how living things evolve and adapt in nature. Here's how it works. First, you create a bunch of random guesses called population. Each guess is like a potential solution to the puzzle. Then, you compare these guesses to see which ones are closer to the correct answer. The closer guesses are given a better chance to reproduce and create more guesses for the next round. Over time, the guesses that are closer to the correct answer keep getting better and better. It's like evolution, where the strong ones survive and will pass on their traits to the next generation. Let's dive into the code. If you get lost, you can find the code in the comments and descriptions below. Let's start with looking at the GeoPerson class. We'll be ingesting moves, which will be a list of integers, one indicating to jump, and zero indicating not to jump. And finally, we'll take in an X position, a Y position, and a name for our person. Now, let's take a look at the move function within the GeoPerson class. To start, we'll check to see if we can jump. If we can jump, then we'll check the DNA in the GeoPerson to see if they are told to jump at this state. If not, then we return. If so, then we jump. Now, if we cannot jump, we will check to see if we are currently jumping. If so, we will continue the jump sequence. Finally, if we cannot jump and we are not currently jumping, then we are falling. Lastly, we have a function called modify moves, which takes in a list of moves and a modify index. It is important not to modify all the moves as that may impact the next generation's performance for the worse. However, it is important to adjust the moves towards the end, that way the geo people can still evolve. Let's check out our game loop. First, we'll sort the geo people. Then we'll check to see if any are alive. If none are, then the game is over. Next, the board is printed as well as the geo people are allowed to act. The cycle is repeated until the game is over or all of the geo people have died. At last, we now have our main, which will create a new batch of geo people before calling the game loop. This process is repeated until the number of epics is complete or a geo person has completed the game. Thank you for coding with me. I hope you all have a lovely day.